In this video, we're going to go over the Edit tab of the GIS Editor. The Edit tab allows you to create new data layers and also edit existing data layers, which can be really handy if you're uh, in control of your layers and you want to continually add or update to them or even delete features from them. So before we get started, let's just give you a simple overview of the Edit tab. Here on the left uh, is a drop-down box where you select the, uh, the layer that you wish to edit. In our project here, we've just got two layers, um, parcels and subdivisions. So for our example, we're going to actually add some new parcels um, to our parcel layer. The next is a selection tool. So when you are in this mode, you can actually select features from the layer that you have selected for editing. And this will highlight it so you can do various operations. Um, like split it, do inner rings, and we have uh, other videos to go through each of these different shape operations if you're interested in those. And if you want to do a multi-select, you just hold down the, uh, the mouse cursor and drag, and that'll select uh, multiple features and enable additional shape operations. The uh, next tool is the transform tool, and that allows you to resize or move any of the selected features. So for example, if I just click one of these, and I wanted to make it a little bit bigger. I could do that. I could drag it, um, do all sorts of transformations on that. Of course, if you do any edits and you want to escape, you can either hit the cancel or undo button. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and hit cancel to put that uh, feature back to the way it was. The next tool is the edit tool. Uh, this allows you to select a feature and it will add all the vertexes. So if you zoom into here, you can drag the vertexes if you'd like. You can right click and say add vertex and it'll add it where you right clicked and you can also right click and say remove vertex. If you'd also like to just remove the entire feature, you can right click and say remove or hit the delete key. So this is a very nice uh, tool for um, uh, editing your shape, you know, specific vertices on the shape. The next tool is the drawing tool and this allows you to create new features. So you can just draw uh, uh, a new feature on the map and then fill out the attribute data if you like. Again, if you uh, make some edits and you don't want to save them, you could hit cancel or undo and it'll step back each of your edits even at the vertice level. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hit cancel to get back to a, uh, a normal state. The drawing tools will be enabled for your particular type of uh, layer. So for example, here we're dealing with the area. Uh, shape file or layer, so only the area drawing tools enabled. Um, if you're doing lines, the line would be in point, the point ones would be. Uh, once you're done with your edits, you just click the Save Edits button and that will actually commit it to your layer. Um, here we've already talked about the Cancel, Undo, and Redo buttons a little bit. And uh, this, these uh, uh, buttons here allow you to edit the actual data item. So if I'm going to select one here, I hit Edit Item, this allows me to edit the attribute data. Edit data is for the entire um, layer, so you can uh, um, go through and do a multiple edits to the attributes, which can be handy. And then edit columns allows you to add or remove um, existing columns if you'd like. The new layer is if you want to create a brand new uh, um, shapefile layer, you can do this, define where you want to store it, give it its column names, etc. And here we're just controlling the fill and the outline of the selected uh, um, shapes that are available for editing. And then finally, the last section we're going to talk about is the snapping mode. So snapping allows you to uh, snap to other vertices on other layers. So in our case, we want to slap, snap to the subdivision and also the parcels layer. And you can see you can choose multiple layers. And then you can choose the distance that you want. So we're going to just do five meters here. And now that we've got our snapping set up, I'm going to try and uh, um, build some uh, some new parcel data. So one big tip to always remember when using the editing is you can hit the space bar and you can still pan while you're in edit mode. So now that we're in edit mode, I'm going to go ahead and draw a new polygon and I'm going to start here and you can see the circle where we start snapping to vertices. So I'll double click to add it and there I'll get my, my attribute value. And now you can see we've added a new parcel um, to our parcel shape file. So if I go ahead and hit Save Edit, it will be rendered just like a brand new parcel. So it's as easy as that as adding new data to your feature layers. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them on our discussion forums. Thank you.